Take a look at this. The Santa Barbara Public Library on Wheels. So what we have is the library on the go. And that is uh, the van that you see out and about in our community. And uh, what it is for us is just a, imagine it being like an extension of our library. It goes out into the communities, that goes out into the parks, reaches some of our most vulnerable populations, uh, senior centers, and, and really gets library services and programs out into the community. We have two buildings uh, within the city of Santa Barbara, the Central Library, the Eastside Library. And during the pandemic, even though our libraries were open for like grab and go and curbside services, there was still a huge vulnerable population of folks that aren't able to leave their homes or uh, difficult for even public transportation to take the bus to get to the library. So there's definitely a need for us going out into the community and providing these services, uh, bringing the books and bringing the resources, being able to um, outfit the vehicle that we have currently with Wi-Fi. Um, going into neighborhoods, flipping it on, people can check their emails, download their ebooks, um, print, has the ability to print as well, print vital documents. And what better way to inspire people to use the library services than to bring the library services right to them? More and more people are coming out and seeing us out here. It keeps us relevant to the library as well. You know, but a lot of people think of the library, they think of uh, a stuffy old place, go in there to study or check out books. That's definitely part of the library, but it's not all the library does anymore. And to be able to get out in the community and do different kinds of activities and programs, different places, keeps us relevant. Um, and it's, you're, we're meeting the demand of what people are asking for. Oh, good job. Thank you for putting the lid back on. The Library on the Go van offers many services for a wide range of people from young to old and everyone in between, and serves in Santa Barbara, Montecito, Carpinteria, and Summerland. You guys gonna go partake? Yeah, yeah, Excellent, I think so. good. Currently right now, we're doing every Wednesday at Harding School, and we do every Friday at a different park. Then we have other senior stops that we do on the second and third Tuesdays of the month. <laughs> they love it, they absolutely love it. And I love it, they love it. So we get to get out and whether people come and actually interact with the van and tell us like, this is so wonderful, or they're just walking by or even driving by, just a big thumbs up. We've reminded people that we still exist at the library. Um, you know, people are ordering a lot of things from Amazon or downloading books and things like that. So I bump into a lot of people from the community that'll stumble upon us, be like, oh, I've been to the library in seven years, you guys are still doing this. So we'll reactivate their card and kind of bring them back into the fold, which is wonderful. And these Todds definitely enjoy their time with the van. Almost there? No, I'm done. All done. You say thank you? Thank you. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming. Have fun playing over there, okay? This back here is Stay and Play. I work with the youth services part. And we meet up in different parks every Friday. Today we're in Bonette. We set up activities for children zero to five years old that are designed to um, improve early literacy outcomes. We also do a lot of intervention with caregivers, so we're supporting them in helping them find resources they need to be better caregivers or to improve access to education and professional development as caregivers. Another great part of the library on the go van is if you don't have a library card and want to participate, you can make one on the spot. Welcome to the library. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> the van is also equipped for those who speak Spanish, making the van inclusive to all our residents. So when we do schedule the van stops, uh, we try to have at least a bilingual speaker there. And even our collection has variety in it where it's uh, also, we bring Spanish items with us. The program was funded by the Women's Fund, an anonymous donor, and some library trusts. And because of its success, there will be a second van headed our way in the near future. To find out where this van will be headed next, go to the library website, sbplibrary.org, and click the calendar. If you see, pull up our calendar, if you see us out, come say hello to our staff. Um, come check things out. You know, this is your, your community, your library. Um, we have a ton of stuff. You'll be shocked if you don't think that we have it or if you think that you know, the library can't do that for us. Nah, we got it. Call me directly. I don't know, put that out there. <laughs> Stop calling me and we'll get you the book that you're looking for, the item that you're looking for.